Hi, I'm Judy. Hi, I'm Cindy. Welcome to the Alaska Dreamer channel. We're just giving you a quick update on our recent developments for the land in Alaska. What do you have in your hand? I have plans. Hmm, what's in those plans? All kinds of fun stuff. So we've been promising an update for quite a while, and this is actually a picture of what the cabin look, will look like, except it's going to be black. And um, that door won't be there, and that won't be there, and there'll be a window. <laughs> okay. And then, so there's some updates. A few. And then I took this, and I put it actually on our land. So this is our land in the snow, and it's still going to be black. <laughs> Correct. So, so hit pause. Okay. Downsizing from how many square feet to how many square feet? So close to 2,200 square feet with a 6,000 square foot barn full of crap. Full of crap. It's full of crap. Useful things. Okay. Anyways, so 2,200 square foot home, 6,000 square foot barn, three bedrooms, two baths, and transitioning to... 1,100 square feet. Two bedrooms. Technically, it's still two baths because I count the outhouse. Oh, well, okay. You can use the outhouse. I'll use the inside bath. Good with that. I don't have to come inside when I'm outdoors. That'll work. So, needless to say, we have a lot of downsizing to do, a lot of purging to do. I've already started. So, I've been purging for several months and getting rid of clothes. That's a lot of stuff. Well, I do have a lot of stuff. I have a whole lot of stuff. And we're going to have a yard sale. And I've been giving stuff to charity. And I've been selling stuff on Facebook. And I've been just getting rid of a lot of stuff. And then I went in my closet the other day. And I thought, well, where's all my shoes? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've getting, got, getting gotten. I've gotten rid of a lot of my shoes. And I've just been hiking a lot more to be able to be in better shape. Yeah, you went on a big hike this weekend. Mm -hmm. How far did you go? 13.9 miles, and it's in Ohio, so about 22, 2,300 feet elevation and descent up and down. So, hey, there are some hills in Ohio. She sent me a photo when she was out and said that she was on a mountain. I'm like, that's not a mountain. Well, anyways. <laughs> I was going to send her a picture of Denali. This is a mountain, but... But we have plans for her in the future that she's going to um, climb Denali. We'll talk about that she's more later. She's going to become a mountain climber and be not the oldest woman to summit Denali because what did we discover? She was 78? I don't no, know. No, that was a guy, a man. How old was the lady? I don't know. We'll look it up later and put it 70 in the video. Yeah, we'll do a little pop-up like right there. <laughs> So one of the things we need to do is um, have some modifications done. So the first thing we have is the front of the cabin. And this right here is going to be a sliding glass door instead of the French doors that they have right there. Um, so that's one of the major, well, I guess it's not a major modification. It's just a different type of door. So that's all. What this house didn't originally have was an Arctic entry. And if you've been to Alaska, you know it can get cold. And I will tell you, living here, it's always really, really good to have a mudroom. Agreed? Agreed. Oh, yeah. We need a mudroom. So we navigated. We really like this floor plan. Two bedrooms and a loft. And one of the concerns I'll say I had and you came on board with was wanting all of the water on interior walls, having a second um, heat source, and then take into consideration, because it's a, a single pitch roof, of where that heat source is and as it goes up to make sure you're not just heating the high portions of the cabin, but the entire cabin. So we had a lot of conversation on <laughs> how to lay out the kitchen, where um, the Toyo stove would end up going, where the wood stove would go. We've looked at a ton of different step options to get to the loft. Did we have any arguments? A few lively discussions. Okay. But um, I think for the most part, we did pretty well. We did. We did. The, uh, the big hurdle we had to get over was how to get up into the loft. And it was designed with a ship's ladder going up the side of the wall, which is not going to work 
for this lady right here. So we decided that we're going to do library steps that actually roll out of, not out of the wall, but they roll out away from the wall. And then you can go up the steps and then you can just push them back um, against the wall when you need that space. Share how we decided how we're going to get things up. Oh, we're going to do a pulley system and we're going to make a little cart thing. I envision it to be flat and then two triangles and then the pulley and then pull up um, totes and boxes and whatever we want to store up there. And Cindy's going to have her office up there. So we've already decided that we're going to buy furniture that she has to put together um, so we don't have to try to get furniture up those stairs. So two things. One, finally get a corner office with a fantastic view. So should, depending on the trees that are cleared, etc., might be able to see the range from my office. Two, because it's a single pitch roof in the loft, we're going to have a ton of storage space, especially where the ceiling height goes down to about four feet. So we're excited about that. That's the other thing we spent a lot of time talking about um, is what type of storage we'll have, what open shelving systems we'll have, um, where we'll have uh, extra just to make sure that we can have food stored for an extended period of time, especially in the winter if we get, um, not if, when we get snowed in. So we're properly prepared. Um, I was going to ask you a question now. I forget. Oh, so when you say the range, some people might not know what that means. Oh, the Alaskan range? Mm -hmm. The Alaskan range. Which includes? Mount Forker. And then I'll be, of course. <laughs> it includes Forker too. <laughs> Don't, and Hunter. You won't see Forker because it's you're not close enough to see Forker. Don't you know. downplay the other ones in the range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think that's good for an update for now, right? So sorry. So get what you get. Now we're just waiting on the plans, and then oh, we have a meeting with the builder. Did you tell him that? No. Hey, guess what we're doing next month? We're coming to Alaska and meeting with the builder. We're meeting with the builder. So that's and exciting. Have, and hopefully have our plans finished by then and be able to give them to him. And have some fun. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. So that's exciting. I'm excited to be back in Alaska. We haven't been there since November. Beginning yeah. of November. But yeah. what did we see at the beginning of November? And Remind them. We saw the Northern Lights at our property, which is really cool. Good stuff. So, hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you later. See you on the next one. Bye. Three, two, one. I'm Judy. <laughs> you shouldn't do this so <laughs> Didn't even get to the first. Okay, okay. ready? And breathe. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. <sighs> All right. You're in the plane. <laughs> okay. And. Try to get your eyes all red. That's all right. You're gonna look weepy. <laughs> oh, weepy. Now I got you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Stop. It. It's been recording, <laughs> dork. <laughs> Go. Ready? Got this. Okay. Go. I'm Judy. I'm Cindy. Welcome to the Alaska Dreamer channel. Uh. <laughs>